it's Chester Tucker from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video we're going to create a uh, case sensitive counting and summing. I've got all the different permutations of my product names here and you can see I'm going to have to try and um, match both the first character of the first word in terms of its case and the first character of the second word. I'm going to use a mixture of the exact functions, some text functions some list of if functions to achieve this. Now I've written down the kind of steps I'm going to have to take uh, down here to kind of break down the formula for you. And first of all what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a function called exact. Um, if I do control A it brings up the function arguments box which helps me to explain this a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the first character product name here. We're going to use the left function to do that. So equals left e2, close bracket, c returns lowercase t. Then I'm going to compare that with another piece of text. So I'm going to say left, open bracket, and I'm going to paste in um, the name that I've given this column, which is product. I'm going to use an array formula later on, so this will work. So what you can do at the moment is just looking at the first character, the first uh, instance of the value there uh, matches t with p and obviously returns false. Uh, I click on OK. Um, what I could then do is if I wanted to, obviously if it was a match it would return true, if I wanted to count the occurrences of the word true, to convert true to a number as in 1, I'll just put a couple of subtractions at the beginning. So uh, it returns 0 because our current result is uh, false, but if I was to add those all up, I need an array formula because I'm referring to the product column, so that's control shift enter, it will count the number of trues, so the number of uh, exact matches essentially. So that's great if all you need to do is match the first character, seven occurrences of tiny toys in this column. But what we've got to also do is um, uh, compare the first character of the second uh, word. So to do that, I need to find the position of the uh, first character of the second word. And I can do that using a find function. Um, so I want to find text space. So that's um, quotation mark, space, quotation mark. Within text uh, E2, and I don't need to fill in the start number because I'm going to start counting from the first character. Click on OK. So that finds the position of the space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I plus 1, um, it finds, finds the position of the first character after the space. Then what I want to do is return that actual character. So I want to return the T with the number 6. Um, so I can use the mid function to do that. You may have used that before. Equals mid. So um, from this text, starting at number, well, what I should have done is copy this, so we can use it in our mid function. Let's start again with the mid. Um, so from this text, start number six, um, return one character, which is the letter T. That's exactly what I wanted. So I've got the letter T there. Now what I need to do then, if I copy this, is compare um, that character there, first word, uh, the first letter of the f uh, second word there, with the first letter of the second word there. So I'm going to use my exact function again, so uh, equals exact. So I'm matching that. little t with big P, is that P I think it says, little t with big P, there we are. So, what I'm then going to do is copy that over here. Now, um, we are going to use um, an if function here. What I'm going to 
images and we're saying if the first character matches what we want to do is then look to see if the second first character of the second word matches now So my logical test looks at the first of all to see if the first character of the first word matches. Then looks to see if the character of the second word matches. In which case, we then need an if here. So we have that nice little if we're plating. So if that's the logical test, then I can then return one if that's true and zero if it's false and then if neither of those things are true I need to return a zero that's my extra form for me and it's returned false so I can put that over here now let's see if that's true so how many occurrences of tiny toys appears in this list with both lower case now if I want to just do a little filter you notice even the filters are not cutting to this so one, two, three, four. The rest are not uh, entered with that case combination. I'm just going to copy that and say should work. Copy it again. Let's see the other options. Now to do the revenue, that's very similar to what we've already done, um, but instead of returning one if both conditions are met, we want to return the revenue. Um, now I'm going to copy this over here. Turn zero because unfortunately I've lost my reference to MT, so let's just change those. Make sure we fix those. Now what I'm going to do is then return the revenue rather than one, because I want to add up the revenue. So I'm going to do a array formula, control shift enter, copy that down, and the revenue is calculated for me. Okay, it's quite a long uh, complicated formula but hopefully hopefully you can see the logic behind it um, for more information on on-site Excel training visit uh, www.upcan.co.uk for more video Excel tips and tricks visit our site www.exceltraining.co thanks very much